Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123. This is just going to be a really short, quick little video. Uh, basically, after work, I went down to the range and had a look at their Halloween section because every year the range do like really good spooky stuff. So um, yeah, I basically got some footage from the Halloween stuff and uh, I'm going to include it in this video. So carry on watching for that. You can see what they're doing. This year, as always, they have some great spooky stuff. Some of it's more kind of expensive but other stuff's a bit cheaper but yeah if you are near the range and you like spooky stuff definitely go check them out because they've got some great stuff um so i have got a few things which i'm going to show you in like a little haul bit um so first of all coming up now you're going to see a little bit of the shopping footage from the range halloween section and then after that you'll see um the goodies that i have bought <laughs> Okay everyone, so I really hope you enjoyed the actual footage from the shop, seeing all the spooky stuff. I love walking around shops with all like Halloween stuff because I just get really excited. I love Halloween, like literally I am Halloween obsessed. Uh, so now I'm going to do a quick little haul just to show you what I got from the range. So first of all, I have a flashing witch's hat, okay. Not just a normal witch's hat, no, this is a flashing one. There's just a little button there that you press and the hat flashes so what it is it's on like a headband so you can just put it on like so there we go just lean down there but yeah it's really cool I love it I've already got a witch's hat but you can never have uh, too many witch's hats right and this one flashes so it's all good <laughs> so yeah I got that also I picked up some of this mind putty so they did have different ones but I chose this one uh, which is green and it's glow in the dark so I don't know what it's like I've got a scissors here so I'm going to open it up and see, because I love all that kind of putty and slime and stuff like that. I find it very therapeutic to play with and stuff. And as I say, this is the um, glow in the dark one as well. So that would be pretty cool for Halloween. So I'm just going to open this packet really quickly just to kind of get a, a feel of it. Because some of this putty stuff you can get, some of it's really good and other, of it, you know, other times it's just a bit, mm, but we shall see. And then what I'm going to show you next is, I think, the best Halloween thing I've ever bought. Like, ever. And it's going to go in my bedroom, the thing I'm going to show you next. And uh, I'm going to literally have it there all year round. It's going to go on my bookcase. I'm just trying to get the, uh, the putty out. And uh, anyway, yeah, I'll show you in a minute. But I was so excited. Right, okay, so this is the putty. And this is glow-in-the-dark stuff. Oh, it is quite squishy. I love this stuff, like seriously, it's just like, I don't know, I find it therapeutic just to like press it and squeeze it and stuff like that. But yeah, it'd be cool to like actually try it in the dark to make sure it is glow in the dark. But I suppose it must be, otherwise they wouldn't be allowed to say it's glow in the dark if it didn't glow in the dark. But they did have other colours as well, so 
I just love doing that. It's like pressing it and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, got that. So now I'm going to show you the thing which I am the most excited about, like ever. <sighs> I love this. So uh, for those of you that don't know, I am kind of obsessed with all things uh, to do with the circus and carnivals and things like that. So I saw this. I've never seen it before. I think it's quite new in. And I was like, oh my God, I need that in my life, right? So I didn't know how much it was going to be because there was no bloody pr price tag on it. So I was like, oh. And I had a feeling it was going to be like more expensive than it actually was. I thought it was going to be out of £40, but it ended up being £20. So let me just show you because I'm rambling. This is a fortune teller. So it looks like the little kind of um, fortune teller you'd see, a very dark kind of spooky circus. I'm trying to get back there that you can see it properly. So you've got the lady in there, oh, ha, ha, the fortune teller. Um, it, it just looks so cool. I, I am literally in love with this. I love it. I literally, I love this so much. Like I wanted to cry when I saw it because I wanted it so much. That's really sad, but really true. Um, so this is going to sit, as I say, on my bookcase, right? Um, but there's a little switch at the back, and she's going to come to life. Okay, you ready? Hold on. <laughs> she's amazing it just feels so real like you know when you got them little booths and you get the fortune teller and stuff there's one actually down the seafront where i live i live in south end and um near the beach and there's one called zoltar and he kind of does the same thing in the little booth he kind of moves about in the crystal ball and stuff obviously he doesn't look like a witch uh, he looks like a genie but this this one looks a bit like a witch but I just love it, like the whole concept of it. I just think it's amazing, honestly. I love her little face, like she's really cute. I know you're like, what? How can you call her cute? But I, I love spooky stuff, so to me, she's kind of cute. And I love the fact that she's got the crystal ball and it kind of colour changes and just everything about this is just freaking amazing. I love it. So yeah, as I say, this is going to sit on my bookcase. Um, I've had to move a few things about, but I'm going to put a on the bookcase so yeah she's got a home to go and um, what i'll probably do is take a photograph of my bookcase with her on it so you can see and i'll add it um in a second at the end of the video so you can see but yeah i like the the, the hat is still flashing i don't know if they you switch it to turn it off there we go i was like how long is that gonna flash for <laughs> there you there you, is a switch you can turn it off um but yeah the putty is quite cool actually very soft and squishy some of the putty that I've had before is like too hard and you try and like squeeze it and it's like a rock but this is actually quite putty-ish if you know what I mean well it should be because it's putty but look anyway so that is the end of the video hope you enjoyed the like looking around the shop and seeing the Halloween stuff and obviously seeing what I bought I've got so much Halloween stuff I'm not letting myself buy it anymore Literally, I don't care if I see something super, super, super duper, it's not happening, I'm not buying anymore because I've just got way too much for Halloween this year. Uh, <laughs> but there we go. But that is amazing. So carry on watching for the photograph of her on the bookcase. I've called it Esmeralda. Just, oh, it popped. Um, I don't know why. Why not? There was one thing actually that I so nearly got. Um, and if you like Ouija boards and stuff, go to the range in their Halloween section. They had this Halloween uh, decoration that was basically a replica Ouija board, right? And it looked like an old wooden brown box. It wasn't. It was made out of like paper or cardboard or whatever. But um, it, it really looked realistic. And it had like the little counter with it and thing. And it was a Ouija board. And I really wanted that. I so wanted it. But I rang my fiance up, Nathan, and I was like, babe, I've seen this thing. And I explained what it was. And I said, it really looks like a proper Ouija board. And he was just like, no. Just please no, don't get it. He says you can if you want, but I really, I really don't think you should because our house is haunted and like there's nothing negative. I don't think it's all like positive spirits and our family. I reckon like our relatives coming through and stuff like that. But I think if you start kind of messing around with Ouija connected things, then yeah, dark stuff could kind of come through and we don't want that and yeah it's only a decoration but it, it does look really realistic and you don't know like I don't want to be like 
welcoming demons into my house or something. I don't know. And if I'm honest, because it had the little counter thing with it, I would have been I would have been tempted to just go, you know, on it and see if it worked. But yeah, that's when it gets even more scary. So I didn't get that. But if you do like Ouija balls and stuff, I mean, it was like £12, which was, I think, a good price because it was quite big. It was about the size of the fortune teller, but it was, um, as I say, a Ouija ball box thing, replica. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go put her on my bookcase and take a photo. So carry on watching for that. And don't forget to please click like. I'm just sitting here, like, stretching this. Um, please click like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other YouTube channel as well. I make ASMR videos. And it's Minx Laura 123 ASMR. I'll put the link down below. Basically videos to help people with anxiety, insomnia, depression. And some people, when they watch the videos, they feel so relaxed. They get like a tingly sensation in their scalp. Yeah. <laughs> so please go check out the other channel. All links down below to my social medias. So come follow me and add me on there. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of my spooky Halloween uh, video. I love this. This is some good putty right here. Honestly, some putty that I've had, it's just like, like really stiff and you try and like squeeze in, it's like, like a rock. But this is quite stretchy and very therapeutic. I love this stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, say goodbye, Esmeralda. Goodbye. <laughs>